Hello, YouTube. Uh, it's Thursday, Thursday evening. Now, I had I had so many plans today, of getting to Bullocks earlier and working on music and trying to do some other stuff. And yeah, I ended up uh, damn near oversleeping. Uh, so it's 7:39 p.m. Uh, as I said, it's Thursday, May 12th, and. Um, on my way to Bullocks, on the brights. Oh my goodness, that is crooked. Here, twist, 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 twist. Okay, <laughs> now it's crazy blurry. Does that help? Nope. Oh yeah, that made it worse. Awesome. Um, I really do need to get myself a uh, what you call it a proper dash cam if I'm gonna be doing this in the car again. Blinky, 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 blinky bicycle. Um, I, I, oh, let's go on the left side of the road. Good plan, cyclist. Um, so yeah, that. Uh, sorry, that that intersection took more of my attention than it normally does. Um, probably more of my time than it should have as well. <laughs> it's amazing how well I'm adapting to the damn it, I should get across town in 20 minutes uh, attitude after getting accustomed to allotting two hours to get from here to Bullocks. Um, so anyway, yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't sleep well today, and, and that was to be expected. Um, you know, since I didn't get up until 11 p.m. yesterday, of course I wasn't able to just get right to sleep. Um, after uh, after getting off work at Amazon today, now I, I do feel I made pretty good use of the time. Uh, you know, going to uh, going to discount tires, going to uh, going to the bank, and even McDonald's. But uh, but yeah, um, I was kind of hoping to go get the car washed today, and uh, that still hasn't happened. It's still disgustingly filthy. Uh, this camera does not want to focus at all today. All right, well, y'all enjoy this blurry ride across town. Um, anyway, um, yeah, once I got home, I just had a hell of a time getting to sleep and uh, fart around and write it a little bit, you know, uh, fart around on YouTube a little bit. Every time I'd go to sleep, I'd end up waking up within about an hour or two. And now that I, you know, <laughs> I don't know how much sleep I got. It doesn't feel like it was much, though. But on the bright side, after I finish my show, I can just... I, can, I have the option to just get my money and hop up in the car and going home. So that's a, that's a nice change. As opposed to having to be stuck there until 4 in the morning and then another... 90 plus minute uh, bus journey home. Of course, by the time I get home at you know 2:30, 2:30 or 3 in the morning, by the time I get home, I'm sure I'll be I'll be wide awake by then. Um, anyway, I'm at 65 miles per hour, and the shimmy seems to be gone. So that's a good thing. Oh. Uh, I just changed the speed it happens at. Now it kicks in at about 75. Oh well, they told me told me a discount tire if uh, if I, I still had a shimmy at higher speeds to come in and they balance the tires and presumably rotate them as well. So I guess I got that on my agenda for tomorrow. The shimmy definitely doesn't feel as bad as it was yesterday, so that's something. But it's definitely there. Oh yeah, it's pretty, pretty pronounced. 
1978. So uh, one thing that had happened shortly before I uh, blew the engine on this car and went through that what seemed like eternally long seven and a half uh, month period of being a pedestrian is um, I was in an accident. It was actually in three accidents. Um, I was uh, rear-ended while waiting at a red light at 40th Street at the uh, uh, southbound at Loop 202. Um, I also totaled a uh, Toyota Prius taxi cab for VIP taxi. That was exciting. Um, now, obviously, the hit and run one was not my fault. I was just sitting in a red light, but the, uh, the, the taxi was deemed to be completely my fault. And in the other accident, um, I, I feel like I could have fought this one, but I just didn't. And I was so overwhelmed with everything I had going on, and by the time I, uh, by the time I really had had the energy to, to fight it, it was already too late, but um, on that particular one, um, now I, I did kind of do a questionable uh, lane change across some, uh, across some uh, construction pylons, or what do you call it, construction cones, whatever they're called, and um, and cut somebody off and they, they hit me on the right side. And yeah, I definitely did cut them off, but I don't think there's any way possible that they could have been, been uh, doing the most of 25 mile per hour speed limit there and, and hit me with the impact that they hit me with. Um, but as far as like my, my defense on that was that uh, <coughs> going down that bit of road there, there was a very small sign saying to keep right, which I didn't didn't see. But what I did see was a very large sign with blinking lights that was indicating to, to go left. So I went left, and it wasn't until after it split that I realized that in order for me to turn right to get on Loop 202 from Van Buren, that I needed to be on the right side of construction barriers. Now, granted, that doesn't absolve me from you know my my need to be more closely checking the people that are that were coming on the right. But I don't know. I feel like I looked, and you know, as depending on the speed they were going, I I, I just really don't feel the moment of hit me was going on the speed limit. Anyway, now it's too late to do anything about it. Uh, you know, I've already insurance has already paid for her damages and uh, of course none of my damage is paid for because I've only got liability but, but yeah my insurance paid for, for her damages and I'm paying uh, inflated insurance rates now as a result of it but I still do have some damage to the car I sustained from it uh, the most notable bit of which is that my uh, right mirror has been completely broken off and it's still hanging by the uh, uh, control cable. Like I've got uh, electronic mirror controls in my uh, door panel. Got a little uh, rocker switch where I can go up, down, left, and right, and then there's another switch to the below it that switches as to whether that adjusts the right mirror or the left mirror. And I'm really not sure like how I go about replacing that. I mean, this week it's been a non-issue because I don't have, I don't really have the money to, to get the part. But uh, next week I will actually buy it tomorrow. I, I will probably have enough money to get a replacement mirror, but I don't have any idea how I go about replacing that. Um, I do know at this point with, with what I owe Rob for the replacement on the engine, it's. Uh, it's not, yeah, I don't need to be bringing him this car to, to work on the mirror. Um, I can figure that out myself, so. And that's something I really should have looked up while I was laying in bed having trouble getting to sleep, but 
really easy to not think of that until I'm in the car looking over to the right and seeing what's left of my mirror dangling inside the window by that control cord. Anyway, it's uh, 7.49. I'm sure I'm going to get to uh, Bullock's on time. Um, of course, I totally... So I'm trying to get more sleep. I totally forgot I'm, I'm trying to be there uh, after the Suns game is over, so I suppose I should probably be listening to the Suns game just to see where, where we're at in the game. Global superstar Michael Buble is back. Higher tour. Uh, there's a show I won't be going to. September 20th, Footprint Center. Michael Buble. I haven't met you yet. Like you've never seen him before. Reserve seats on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Yeah, a lot of artists I'd like to see live. Streets Michael Buble is really not one of them. For 45 years, has a slam dunk special. Not hating, just Get not how I'd want to spend my evening. And a large anapasta salad for only 28.95. Streets of New York has a wide variety of pizza, pasta, wings, subs, salads. God, I thought of turning into the tuning into the game way too late. <laughs> by the time, by the time it gets back to the game, I'll probably already be at the bar. Anyway, not the end of the world if I don't have karaoke starting the second of the game ends, but I, I always feel like I get more momentum with the show if I can just segue immediately from the game to music. across America. Now here at home in the valley, here through life's financial milestones, here for you every step of the way. Exceptional service is our promise. Visit Alaska USA at one of 12 Valley locations or at alaskausa.org. Alaska USA Federal Credit Union. Strength in members. This guy is going like 45 in the right lane. More than just answers, you need understanding. At Banner Health, we see you for who you are, the people you love, the moments you would miss for the world. We offer video visits, a 24/7 nurse now line, and more. Not just so uh, yeah, not really much on my mind as far as a show today. Normally, I've got a song stuck in my head that I really want to sing, or uh, less but. Uh, on the last week, I've just been so occupied just between, between holy crap, I'm driving again and uh, working at Amazon that the karaoke show has been about the last thing from my mind. In fact, I, I was planning at some point this week of trying to go over to Woodshed, too, and talk to a manager, and that, that didn't happen either. Oh, nice headlights, dude. I drive with no lights on at all. Um... Anyway, yeah, I should really make a point to do that tomorrow as well. With 36 valley-wide locations and more coming soon, you're sure to have a cobblestone near you. Save time, save money, and go to oh. limited cobblestone. Radio station still playing commercials. <laughs> I'm almost to the bar. I wonder if that means it's halftime. on this intersection. On basketball's biggest stage. 21 plus at present easy. First online real late wage only. Refund issued as non withdrawable site credit that expires in 14 days. Interestingly, squad. there's not Sports one today. Gambling problem? Call 1-800- Oh, yeah, well, yeah, it could just be somebody crossing in the crosswalk. This has been the Phoenix Suns Halftime Report. I was right. Radio Network. It is halftime. Well, I should have no trouble setting up my karaoke stuff during the uh, second half of the game. So. And I'm going to assume they had no problem getting the PA turned on or I'd have gotten a phone call from the bar by now. So. When you're a member of America First Credit Union, the only house that matters to I guess to i got to get used to setting up with the home. loud noise of a game going on. Sometimes that really rattles me, but I'm not feeling balanced enough today. I should have no issue with it. 
Um, so hey, one thing that's that's kind of good and exciting. Speaking of my karaoke show, is um, I remembered to bring my uh, AKG microphone. I have had to do the last two shows without it because uh, you know, which which reminds me, I never did finish the story about <laughs> I kept going off on vlog after vlog uh, a couple weeks ago uh, about how I ended up at a. Uh, multi-millionaire's house for a small house party but uh, but part of part of that <laughs> which I don't know if I ever really explained was that I brought uh, my AKG microphone with me over there which ended up not being of any use there due to technical reasons I don't have uh, enough trip left to explain but uh, the problem has been that the last two weeks since both weeks I've been in such a hurry to get out the door and get on the bus that I didn't, yeah, it's a creative maneuver, dude. If you're parked on the side of the road, you're not supposed to go forward until traffic passes you, dude. I think that guy was trying to pick up a hook. Um, anyway, um, yeah, like last two weeks, both weeks in a row, I, I completely forgot I needed to, uh, It's amazing how sketchy the traffic can be on that little bit of 26th Avenue. I was just trying to turn left into the parking spot, and there was a guy trying to came up on on me from behind. It looked like he was trying to pass me while I was turning left. Which is oh, which is kind of questionable as to who actually has the right of way on that. I mean, generally speaking, I'm yielding just to be safe, but you know. Oh yes, remember if you got Suns tickets, that doubles as light rail tickets. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and by the way, there's only one track downtown. Have fun with that, people. They're not mentioning that in their promo. <laughs> God, I can just imagine a, a train full of excited Sun fans freaking out at 12th Street because the train isn't going anywhere for 15 minutes. Uh, anyway, I need to get in and wrap it up. So, uh, yeah, long story short, I finally remembered my dang microphone, and I just about forgot it again today uh, as I was kind of groggily getting ready for work. I looked over at the, the uh, I looked over at my Amazon bag, and I'm thinking, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not walking, so I don't really need to bring that stuff with me. And then I, had, and then at the last second, I remembered that as I was going to sleep, I was kind of straightening the area up by my bed, and I saw the microphone. And I'm like, oh shit, that should be in my Amazon bag, so it goes with me. So, but I do, I do have it, the microphone and its uh, receiver and power supplier in this bag here, and uh, and that also reminded me I needed to get paper and pencils and uh, and my uh, rechargeable batteries that have been charging. So, so uh, anyway. It's time to uh, it's time to rock the house at 7:57. I'm pretty much right on time. So uh, thanks for coming with on the ride. And oh god, it's so nice I can actually get here in less than 20 minutes again.